How's it going people? Welcome back to my cycling vlog. It's been showering a lot lately and as for today, the rain stopped before the ride. I guess that will have to do. Today we'll be going around the north and to the west. A new route for me. My mate said today we'll go easy and chillax. We shall see if that's true. Hold on a second, did that guy overtook us on a small bike like that? How can that happen? It's game on my friend. After a long pursuit, we finally caught up with that guy. Damn, he's fast. We shall now go back to our easy and chillax mode. Right now, we're heading to the most anticipated destination for today, Neo Tu Lane, for some photos. Half an hour later, we are finally here. Well, typical guys, we didn't stay long. Took a couple of pictures and bounce. Apparently, we're only halfway there. So, we better get moving before the weather turns warm.
My legs are feeling a little bit wonky right now. I can't seem to be able to keep up with them. It's like my brain keeps sending the signals to the muscles, but they just don't respond. As you can see, I keep getting dropped. Well, after a short recovery, I managed to push myself and move to the front of the group. Hopefully, I can maintain this all the way towards the end. But little did I know that Lim Chu Kang is like TMCR, a wide open field. Perfect for time trialists, but not for me. And once again, I dropped. My legs don't feel strong anymore. It's just very, very weak. The only thing that makes me want to keep pedaling is to not call for a pickup to send me home because it'll cost a fortune. I'd rather use that money for some upgrades in hopes that I can be faster. After some long and painful grind, I finally caught up with my mates. Well, more like they waited for me. Glad to have them. And here are a few more scenes of me getting dropped, 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 and dropped. So before the last stretch, I know my body is in desperate need for something sweet. So they brought me to a convenience store and I got myself filled up with isotonic drink and some rest. Much better after that and definitely am ready for the final challenge of the day, West Coast Highway. There's this huge group that we bump into, so we decided to drop behind them. Save some energy before the starting point. And this group is fast. Well, at least for me. As you can see, the speed is pretty consistent around the mid 30s range. And the moment we reach the start of the flyover, my speed dropped. 
I've already switched to the easier gears to ease the climb, but I guess the slope didn't bother them at all. And once again, I got dropped. Well, now that we're up, I think I can catch up if I pedal hard enough. Too young, too dumb, too naive to realize that they are on a different level. I thought being at the mid 30s is good enough that I'll eventually catch up. But as I go, they just look smaller and smaller. So I pedal harder. I even reach up to 40 km per hour, but nope. It is at that moment I know that the view from up here is kinda nice. Well, I shall take my own sweet time to enjoy it. I guess I'm still far away from those seasoned cyclists. Even trying to maintain at their speed is so difficult for me. Well, it's gonna be another long and painful grind. At least I can say, I did put in all my effort to finish it. And guess what? I'm not the only one that got dropped. Oh no, I didn't crash. My GoPro fell on the road and thankfully it's on the most left side of the road. Whew. Dear GoPro, kindly fix the damn folding finger mount. It's too damn weak. A supposedly easy and chillax ride turns out to be not so easy and chillax ride. After getting dropped multiple times, I definitely need more training to keep up. But before that, it's time for breakfast and see you in the next one.